of you been teaching with the reform bar already? Anybody? So you're all new to it? Okay, good. This is one of my favorite pieces of equipment. I've been teaching with it for about three years now. And you can hit so many different muscle groups and do all kinds of different exercises. And I love to incorporate it with the bender ball just because it helps with the added pressure on the back with some Pilates exercises. And depending on your client's flexibility of the hamstrings, some of the exercises when you're laying you know, on your back, they tend to see, you know, have a tendency to feel it in their lower back. So using the, these type of equipment will take some of that and eliminate some of those discomforts and make it easier for them to actually get through the proper exercise doing it correctly. So anytime you're using um, tubing, you want to make sure that you check your equipment first. And so you want to run, run, oh, and this is from Power Systems, and they are downstairs. These are available. The yellow tubes run 32 The green tube is $34. I typically, even, um, even though I've been teaching for three years on it, I always use the yellow, if that tells you anything. So I just feel I can get through proper range of motion in proper form using the yellow versus using the green where it's going to be a little tighter. Um, uh, if you're a guy, you might want to use the green because it'll add you add a little different resistance. So, But just run your hands down the tube and make sure that you don't feel any fray edges. Because um, I know that uh, this one also check the attachment part because this can also get a little damaged through wear and tear so just double check all of that because you always want to make sure that you are properly equipped the last thing you want is this to snap on you and then also make sure that you have a male and a female part so one part has the little teeth at the end and then one is flat on both sides so you have to have one and one Yeah, Janice, I did this yesterday, and I'm dying. Right. My inner thighs are on fire. Oh. My shoulders. Your shoulders, yeah, because it incorporates so much upper body strength. Yep. yep. Excellent. Oh, goodness. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with the band on our ankles. So we're going to attach it at the bottom. Make sure it's fairly tight, but not tight enough that you're going to lose circulation in the you also want to make sure that the line of pull is coming from the top part of your foot. I just came from meditating. Oh, you did with Nora? Yeah. Wasn't fabulous? It was cool, yeah, it was different. I love her voice. Yeah. She's very, like... Yeah, it's interesting, right? Yeah. Did you do this happy. thing with the hands? Yep. Fine. Is that freaky? Weird. Yeah. I. It's like, where's my face? Yeah. <laughs> Where was that? Oh, it's downstairs. <clears throat> yeah, she does it every conference. It's like yeah, incredible. I didn't know she was doing yeah. It. Now it really doesn't matter what side of the handles you hold on to. Basically, whatever is comfortable for you. You can hold on to the center if you want. You can hold on to the scrunchy part. Just make sure, because one side is longer than the other, that you don't have one and one. Because then you're going to be off balance. You see what I mean? So just kind of choose what direction you want to hold. Sometimes it's a little easier if you hold um, at the shorter end, because the band is closer. So, okay? All right, we're gonna take our feet just hip apart. So we're opening out those hips. We're just gonna take a big inhale in. And exhale out. One more time, big inhale in. And exhale out. We're gonna inhale, we're gonna lift those arms up. And exhale down. Good. So you wanna pull in on your powerhouse. As you lift, relax your shoulders and then slowly lower it down. Good, again, lift up. Now when we come down, I want you to keep the tension on the band, so don't let it slack at the bottom. And then we're gonna keep that tension on those shoulders. More shoulder work for you. Again, lift up. 
and bring it down. So you want to think about your breathing pattern. So you inhale to prepare, and you exhale. Inhale to prepare, exhale. Shoulders are down and relax. Give me one more. And lift it up and hold. Good. We're going to C curve forward. Tighten through the core. We're going to C curve up. You're going to open to the back. Bring it center. Bring it down. We're going to circle around. Open it out. Stretch back. Circle around. Open it back. One more time. Lift up. Circle it back. And take it down. Give me a little step tight side to side. Good. Back it out side to side. <laughs> now, pull the arms out a little bit. Good. We're just going to bring it across. So you're going to give me a little twist. It should feel really good after the whole weekend. Good. Because typically, when we move in this motion, it's not weighted, right? So you get a little more bang for your buck here. Four more. Alright, baby. Yeah. <laughs> now you're gonna reach. Oh goodness. Good. And then we're gonna reach it up. Oh my goodness. Oh gosh. <laughs> and bring it across. And reach it up. Good. One more time, bring it across. And reach it up. Now, as we reach up, you're going to give me a little outer thigh lift. If you're just coming in, the bands are up here. Make sure you get, that's okay. Get a male and a female one. And a ball. How's that feel? Getting a little warmer? Yes? <laughs> Four more. Yeah, because we didn't do this in the cert, right? Bring it across. More. Really squeeze that tush. Lift it up a little higher. Good. And bring it across. Hold it here. What happened? I'm just trying to give them room. Oh, okay. All right. We're going to lunge it out side to side. <laughs> more room, more room. That's it. Four more. Four and three and two. Hold it center. We're going to open it out and down. We're going to bring the band up. Good. Hold it down and pulse. Push those knees back. Squeeze. Beautiful. Eight more. Now, push it back. Yeah. Have some tight shoulders are back. Try to sink one more inch down. Press. Press. Feel those hips? Now take it one more inch down. Press. Beautiful. Oh my goodness. Four more. Four. Three. Two. And one. Hold it. We're going to lift up for two. And down for two. Now, when you come down, make sure you don't pop your head. Be aware of where that bar is going. Again, sink down a little, a little further. Tighten from the core. Two more. Very nice. One more. Hold it. Slowly bring it up. Turn your toes forward. Bring the hands down. We're going to crisscross. The band. All right, we're going to lean forward, so I want you to hinge from the hips. So instead of tucking it under, lengthen through the spine, pull your navel toward your spine, and pull your shoulders back. All right, abs are tight. Get a little tension. We're going to lift the right arm for two. So we're going to take it out for two and down for two. No. Make sure you get one and one. So one female, one male. 
So grab the other one from the other bend. There you go. Uh -huh. Single. Take it out and down. So we lean forward and hit medial delt, middle part of the shoulder. If we were going to stand up, that would be anterior delt. So I want to hit the middle part. And I want to keep that tension on the tube for time management. That way I don't have to do that many. I'll only do like 50 or 100. Two more. Both arms pull it up. Lift. So really focus on that powerhouse. Give me four more right here. Four. You feeling a little warmer? Yes? Two more. One more. Hold it here, hold it here, hold it here, hold it here. And slowly bring it up. How we feel? Good? All right. Turn those toes back out. We're going to squat down for two. Bring it down. And lift up. Again. Press down. Single down. Press and squeeze. Beautiful. Four more. Two more. Now as we go up, we're going to lift the arms. Down. So you notice when you come up, they kind of want to pull in, right? So you're really working interior delt. Push it all the way up. Down and push. Hold it down. Hold it down and press. Last set. Good. Now we're going to turn those toes forward and out. Forward and out. Forward and out. Hit those inner thighs. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Hold it. Walk it in. Walk it in. Keep sitting. Walk it in. Push it down and up. Beautiful. Now, we're going to bring those arms out. And cross. And cross. And cross. And cross. And cross. How's that feel? Oh boy, oh, boy. bring it down. Shake it out. You feel warm? Yep. Yeah? Okay, excellent. All right, we're going to take it back around. We're going to have a seat. We're going to actually bring the cuff, take it off. Then I want you to put both pieces together. actually leave the bar on the floor and you're going to pick up the straps. <clears throat> Good to go. Okay. So this is your choice. You can wrap your toes around the bar or you can come up and over to where your heels are on top of the bar. Whatever's comfortable for you. There's not right or no wrong or right. The most important is that it's secure on the floor so that when you're working with it, it doesn't pop up on you, okay? Now, we're going to do the stand, a standing hundred. That's typically a plotty position that you do laying down on the floor. So this is going to give you a little alternative to standing um, instead of being on the floor. So we're going to take the palms, so they're on the squishy part. We're going to either keep our legs straight or you can slightly bend the knees. Hinge from the hip and push the tailbone up. Pull the shoulder blades back. We're going to extend those arms back so that we really open out that chest. Give me a little head nod. And you're going to pump those arms up. So you want to inhale for five. And then you exhale for five. And you do that a hundred times. And what this does is it warms up your system. It brings oxygen in. It warms up that powerhouse. And it just builds a little warmth so that you're ready to uh, start your whole uh, sequence of Pilates movements. 
So just think about that breath, opening up that chest, tight abdominals and that through that powerhouse. Try to lift a little higher and push those fingertips towards the back of the room. So you're really trying to lengthen those arms as long as you can. How many have we done? Anybody? <laughs> did, we, did we forget to count? <laughs> Come on, come on, come on, come on. Four more. Four, three, two, and one. Slowly bring it up. Feel the triceps? Yes? All right, shake it out. All right. Bring your arms up to a guard position, like a martial arts, kickboxing. All right, abs in tight. We're going to actually extend that right arm out, and then you're going to bring it in. And then we're going to extend it out and bring it in. As we do that, the opposite arm is going to lift and then bring it in. So it's almost like you're a cheerleader. Press it out. Just need your pom-poms. <laughs> Pull it in and switch. Now, when we do this, we're actually going to reach. But I want you to keep tension on that bottom arm. So you want to reach. You're trying to lengthen, tighten through the core. Press and press. Let's go a little quicker. So we're gonna press out. Really lengthen through that spine, working those obliques. Four more. Four. Three. Two. We're gonna squat down for two. Bring it up, slow and control. Singles down. Take it down and squeeze. So when you come up, I want to push your hips forward and squeeze the booty. There we go. Excellent. As we go down, the right arm goes up. Okay. Down. Now try to sit down even on both legs. Because as you lift one leg, you have a tendency to push the hip out. Yes? So try to keep it real square. That's all the work for that powerhouse because it's forcing you to go with the movement instead of trying to stay really tight and square. Two more. One more. Both arms. I really want you to sit those hips back. With the heels lifted on the bar, it really forces you to sit back into those hips. Two more. One more. Hold it down. Hold it, circle it around, pull it in. Push those hips back, abs is tight. We're gonna extend the right arm forward and the left arm. Then I want you to extend it back, push the palm up, pull in, push the palm up, pull in, reach forward. Abs in tight through that powerhouse. Elbow scrapes through. So you want to keep those elbows in really tight. Now, opposite arm. Push. And in. And press. This is called the boxer. It's typically done with a one or two pound weight. Abs it tight. So the extension comes through. Elbows are in tight. Chest is lifted. Flat back. Here we go. Tempo. Press. 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 Breathe. 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 Eight more. Let me see. Eight. Seven. Six. Okay. Some of you have seen this. Okay. That's an exercise, yes. Not bad. However, the boxer, the elbows are in, and you have to extend and then pull the elbows back in, and then extend, and then pull the elbows back in. So it's not a full arm. So let's try it again. Push, 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 push. You'll feel a lot different work if you pull those elbows in. There we go. Yes. You feel a difference? Yeah? All right. Four All right, more. Bring it down. Now, we're going to lift up for two, and down for two. Other side. Now the other arm is going to cross over, so it's a mermaid stretch. And 
pull up. Again, I want you to keep that tension. So wherever you can find the position for your arms, everybody will be different depending on how tall you are. But really stretch it over to the side. Two more. There we go. So I don't want to see any slack in that two. Two more. One more. Bring it in. Good. Now pull those arms in. We're going to extend them out. We're going to pull them in. Extend them out. Pull them in. We're going to extend them out. We're going to pull in. We're going to extend them out. And pull in. Now, as you do this, try to keep your hips forward. They want to go with the motion, so they want to travel with you. Try to keep them forward. That's where you're going to feel the work through the powerhouse. It's challenging to keep them forward. So imagine that you're against the wall, that your hip can't rotate. So try to really contract the core and fire those abs. Out, out, four more, four, three, two more, one more. Bring it down, lift, stretch back, bring it down, and pull. Again, one more. Just stretch it out. Pull back. Bring it down. And lower. Shake it out. How we feel? Good? All right. We're going to take it down to the floor. Make sure your bender ball is near you. We're going to place the strap on the arch of the foot this time. So again, make sure it's secure that you're, you're not going to feel it slide off of your foot. Alright, just lay your bar right on your lap. We're going to take our bender ball and I want you to push it really tight into your hip, into your tailbone, so you can just like sit back into it and just relax without it sliding out. Okay? All right, we're gonna bring our bar, and I want you to curl it, to twist it a little bit. It's gonna add some resistance. Whatever you feel, you could do like uh, four times if you want. So of course, the more you go, the harder the resistance will be, okay? Because when you're working with tubing, you wanna avoid knotting the tube, um, cause that, that's gonna um, damage the area, and it'll typically break then after time. Our knees are about hip apart, shoulders are back, abs in tight, okay, so keeping that core stabilized. We're going to bring our arms out to the widest part. We're just going to extend them up, so I want you to focus on your form where you pull your shoulders back, a little head nod, chest is up. So instead of being collapsed over the ball, we're lifted out and really focusing on that powerhouse. We're going to lift those arms up for two, and then I want you to lower down for two. Lift up for two, lower down for two, up for two. Now we're going to go back for two, over the ball, and lift. Back, and lift. So the key is not to go all the way over the ball, you just want to feel the fire in those abdominals little head nod as you go back. Now we're going to hold it back. Hold it here, abs in tight. We're going to lower that bar down and up. Down and up. So you're firing the core, working the shoulders. Push. Four more right here. Four. Very nice. Two more. One more. Hold it at the top. And press it down, come back up. How we feel? A little warmer? All right. We're going to plant those legs to the floor. Now, you can keep them bent if you want, or you can go all the way down. We're going to do a lateral rotation with the hip, which actually comes from the hip part instead of just the knees. So what I want you to do is try to open out 
and wrap your inner thighs up and try to kiss the back of your knees together. So you're in a little V on your feet. So kiss the heels together and open them out, okay? Now imagine a strap going over your quads and strapping them down to the floor so that they can't pop up. So you have to engage your quads, your hamstrings, and your powerhouse, all right? Bringing out to the wide grip, abs in tight. I just want you to go back for two, and then come up for two. Now, find that tension with those arms, and anchor those legs down to the floor. As we go back, we're gonna reach those arms back and up. So those legs want to come up with the bar, yes? So you have to fire those hamstrings and those quads to keep them down. Two more. One more. Hold it here. Hold it here. Squeeze. Now we're going to lift up and up a little tick tock. Again, we want to square off those hips. One hip wants to rotate with the motion. You have to keep everything nice and tight. This is called the tick tock. That's it, two more. One more set. And bring it down, lift all the way up. How we feel, good? All right, so not only are you working that powerhouse, but you're also feeling that upper the upper work, okay? We're gonna bring the hands to the center with the palms up. We're gonna extend out, okay? We're gonna go back for two, and then we're gonna come up for two. Bring it back for two. Again, finding out where that tension stays on the bar. As we go back, we're gonna hold. We're gonna bend in. We're gonna bend in. We're gonna bend in two more. Hold it here, lift it up. Now pull back as far as you can. Lift, lower down, tricep or bicep. Pull it. Two more. This medication is getting to my head. One more. Lift up. Again, pull back. I don't know my bicep or my tricep. Pull in. Two more. <laughs> it's all a blur. Bring it up. Now, give me one of each. Here we go. Pull in. Now lift. Pull. And pull. And pull. Try to step as tall as you can. You lengthen it through the top part of your head. You're welcome in my space. Nice. Doesn't that feel nice with that? Two more. Welcome in my space. One more. You're very welcome in my space. Excellent. Very nice. Okay, we're going to bring it back down. We're going to untwist. All right. We're going to come over to the side. And we're going to bring the ball. And we're going to place it right at our hip. And we're going to lay over it. And this is such a great tool because most of our students would be here, right? Just kind of hanging out. They're collapsed into the shoulder instead of being here, keeping this posture. So with the ball, it takes that elimination out so that they can stay in the proper form and be successful with the exercise. All right. So we're going to bring the, the knees bent first. So the body knee is bent. We're going to extend the top leg out, okay? And the most important thing is that we bring our hip forward. So you want to square it off. So instead of being back here, we're going to be working a hip flexor and a quad. I want to focus on our glutes and our outer thigh. So pull that hip forward. Come up from the powerhouse and lift that chest. Now we're holding on to the bottom with the bottom arm. And then you're going to bring this part up. And you can hold it up here if you want. You can 
hold it here. No right or wrong. Now, even though we have the support with the ball, with the ball, I want you to really pull up. Okay, so really keep that form. Now, if you can look down, I want to make sure you don't see your toes. If you can see your toes, pull that leg back so you can focus on those glutes. Now, we're just going to lift that leg slow up and down without the upper body moving. So, we don't want to see anything moving up here. Working through the core. Good. We're going to pulse through three. One and two and three and down. Up and two and three and down. Try to pull back a little further. So we're getting a little more glutes. Excellent. Two more. One more. Hold it there and slowly bring it down. Let it relax. Good. Now we're going to extend that bottom leg. So this is going to make it a little more challenging. And extend the top leg. Laterally rotate those hips again. So instead of my quad being forward, I want to rotate it so it's almost facing the ceiling. Okay? Push the hips forward. Take that bar. Bring it across. Tight through the core. Push the hips. Pull the feet back. Now singles up. So you should feel a little more concentration through the core, yes? With that leg extended because we took some of the stability away. Now we're going to circle, mini circles. And try to keep that upper body still. That's the key. Reverse it. Now we're going to bring that foot forward. And back, forward, and back. And it's really easy to go here and back. So you want to stay really tall. Reverse it. One more. Hold it back there. Squeeze. Slowly bring it in. Slide both feet in. Roll it up. Give me a little mermaid stretch. This should feel really nice. And bring it up. Good. All right, we're going to switch over to the other side. How'd that feel? You okay? Yeah? How's your back doing? Okay, so the first round, we'll keep that body bent. We'll extend that top. So let's get that proper form. Pushing that hip forward, pulling that leg back, stabilizing that core singled up. And really try to straighten that leg as far as you can. So instead of having it slightly bent, engage that whole leg. So you want to engage the hamstring, the quad, the glutes. Lift. And up. Hold it up, pulse it up. Press and press. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. One more inch up, lift, 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 lift. And slowly bring it down, pull it in. Good. Now we're going to extend both legs. And this might take some adjusting. So instead of having your hips hinged, really pull them back and push that hip forward. Good. All right. Abs in. We're going to bring that foot to the front. We're going to take it forward and back. And forward and back. And then we're going to take it forward and back. Forward and back. Again, without that upper body moving. And then you can also do a little quicker for just beats. Abs and tight. That's the, that's the kicker, trying to keep that powerhouse real still. That upper body really, really tall. Four more. You feel that? Four, three, two, and one. Hold it there. Good. No, you don't feel it. Oh my gosh. 50 more for you. All right. Pull the shoulders back, abs and tight. We're going to do a little devlope. So we're going to open out that knee and push it towards the back of the room. You're going to extend up. 
and then you're gonna bring it down. So we're gonna point on the way up, and then you can flex on the way down.